Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Terror from the Deep. When we last left off, we have shot this deep one over here and we were searching for the remaining aliens, like this Gilman over here. Let's take an aimed shot, that didn't work. Try to hide and... Uh, is there anyone else? I guess not. Let's just very quickly do this with you. Try another aim shot, please. That didn't work either, and he might have noticed. <laughs> so, what about now? Okay. Can you take a snapshot? Yeah, that worked better than an aim shot. And uh, is this the last one? Yes, it is. We have killed a lot of aliens, took two alive, and we have saved 11 civilians, wow. Only killed three by the aliens. Excellent rating, almost 1000. Oh, and we get a lot of promotions. Hope, Alex and Shanti are Ensign. Merlin is a lieutenant, wow, and RPE is a commander now. However, Camille has become a supreme commander of XCOM with a rank of captain. Congratulations everybody, you've deserved it. By the way, this P and X are some new letters after the slash. And the X means that uh, these soldiers are very susceptible to alien mind games. They have a MC strength less than 30, I believe. Then the average soldiers don't have anything like, uh, like Merlin over here. Then the good soldiers have a lowercase p. We don't have anyone right there with a lowercase p. And the very, very good soldiers like RPE and Camille have the uppercase p. For MC strength better than 80, I believe. There will be another letter, K, either lower or uppercase, for MC skill, but everybody has quite a low MC skill for now, so nobody even has a lowercase K at the moment. Anyway, let's return home and sell all the stuff. But before that, let's intercept an alien escort with Barracuda number 3. Shoot it down. Alien sub downed. Okay, so we have a nice mission ahead of us. Escort ship full of uh, aquatoids, yes. But it's gonna be night soon, so we'll uh, do something else. In the meantime, there's one mission over here as well. We can send two Tritons, by the way, why not? But I believe, I believe that I don't like these two colonies over here. Yeah, I definitely don't like that, especially this one. So I will try to take it out, basically, and uh, there are two ways how to do that. First way is to take 14 best soldiers with uh, high MC strength, like Daisy for example, and level the alien colony to the ground, or with the seabed if you wish. The second way, much more challenging and entertaining, is the James Bond approach basically take a single soldier who will uh, single-handedly take out the entire colony. And I guess our last mission was not so challenging, so we could use a little challenge. So the soldier who is able to do that must have a few attributes. First of all, hmm, well, MC strength 90 or more. So we have RPE, we have Daisy, 
we have Kriegel and Camille, who are potential candidates. Then we have... Um, well, what we need also is a heavy soldier. So RPE, Daisy, Kriegel and Camille, all four of them still qualify. They don't need any special shooting skills or reactions, so everybody's good there as well. And what they also need, well, they can't be wounded just like Daisy and Kriegel are. So only RPE and Camille, our two highest ranking officers actually, a commander and a captain, are able to go. But the most important attribute of such a soldier is that he or she must be completely crazy. Or we just don't tell him or her that uh, they are going on such a mission. So from Camille and RPE, I think RPE is the crazier one. So I think I will assign the mission to him. And uh, I think he's not crazy enough, so I will not tell him that we are going there. I will just tell him, you know what, RP? You deserve a shore leave. So uh, take the Triton to wherever you want. No, that's not good. Take a Triton and it will take you to middle of Atlantic and you can take your shore leave there. Yeah, that's what we will tell him. And we'll put some equipment on board. It will not be much, because that would uh, be suspicious. So we'll uh, give him like, I don't know, six grenades, six sonic pulsers. We'll give him one weapon with two clips, let's say, just in case. You know, a soldier can't go on a shore leave without a weapon. And we'll give him a particle disturbance sensor. Why not? That's a useful piece of equipment, and we'll give him a lot of flares. Like... eight. That should be enough. So, yeah, that shouldn't raise any suspicions, I guess. What you need for such a mission is at least a few flares. You need that because the alien colonies are very deep and it's dark there. Regardless whether it's day or night, alien colony missions are always in the darkness. You don't need particle disturbance sensor, but it's nice to have. You need a sonic cannon with one clip at least. I will take two just in case. And you need at least one sonic pulser. I will take six just in case. And that's about all you need. So, I think RPE has the magnetic iron armor. That's correct. Okay, so he can fly around or float around. And let's wait until Triton refuels. Shouldn't take that long. And send it to... Hmm... Over here, I guess. Or there. I don't know, this one is closer to our base. Let's go here. Alien colony number two. So, RPE. A well-deserved holiday. Well-deserved shore leave. Are you looking forward to it already? I hope you are. Alien Colony Attack Mission This mission is a raid on an alien colony site. There are two levels to this site. Get all the Aquanauts to the glowing exit in the first complex and click on the abort mission icon to proceed. Any equipment left behind will stay on the seabed until the second section is resolved. To quit, place Aquanauts into the submarine and click on the abort mission icon. Excellent. So, I think we can't hide the fact that uh, RPE is going on a mission anymore uh, because we are just forcing him now to 
put on his armor as we speak and uh, he's obviously asking what the heck is going on so RPE you have been chosen to participate on a very important mission you are supposed to take out an entire alien colony out single-handedly what do you think is it scary enough do you accept the challenge what can you tell me about that don't worry i have some time still think about it and tell me how you feel i've got balls of steel oh really okay well, in that case, let's start the mission. Okay, where are we? This is the corner, this is the corner. So, yeah, we are in the corner. Let's open the door and throw a few flares. One over there. We can see an alien already. It's a wobbly bobbly jellyfish. Okay. No threat to us. Go out. Still see the jellyfish? Yes. Over here, throw another flare. Nothing there? I guess not. That is actually excellent. You know what? Go back. And... Uh, Take more flares in your hand and see what happens. It looks like nothing has happened. Let's go up this time and uh, have a look at this side of the map. Let's even throw one flare right here. Nobody there. It seems like there are doors in here think they could provide enough cover for us. They just might. But uh, let's go over here. There's nobody there, so it should be relatively safe to stay here. Let's see. Hidden movement and nothing has happened. Okay, let's go inside and turn around, nothing here, let's uh, drop the flare and put a cannon in our hands and continue. This is looking quite good, we have seen no aliens except for that uh, jellyfish over there. And we have already managed to get inside the alien base. Well, this seems like a closed off corridor. So what we have to do probably is shoot our way through. Hmm. Okay, let's go here and shoot over there. Okay, it seems like we have a way through. Let's see if anything happens to us. Do you see anybody? No, you don't. Hmm, okay. What about now? Oh, we can't go there just yet. I guess it needs one more shot. Yeah, now we should be able to go there, but first hide in here and let's end the turn. Okay, nothing. And this looks like a good central point and uh, we will go there. All looks fine. Let's go inside. Woo! A lot of aliens. One, two, 
three, four, five aliens. Two tentaculates and three Tessov. All of them having the disruptor launcher. Well, I think that's more than you can handle RPE, to be honest. Fortunately, you are right at the exit. This yellow should be the exit, right? And if I click here, now I will advance to the next level. It says zero units in the craft, zero units left outside and one unit in the target exit. And we are not aborting the mission, we are advancing to the next level. So that's how easy the first level could be, if you know what to do. Alien Colony Attack Mission number 2. Having negotiated the first level and entered the core of the colony, the mission is now to destroy the control center, the Synomion device, or eliminate all aliens. To abort, place all Aquanauts on the start point and click on abort mission icon. All viable XCOM equipment will be returned to base. Well, I guess we are not giving up. We made it this far, so um, let's not fail now. What do you say? I say we need a sonic pulsar in our hand. And we also need... We don't need anything else, I guess. A sonic cannon, just in case. I hope we will not have to use it. And a sonic pulsar should do nicely. Let's see where we are. Turn number one. Turn around. You can see two aliens already. Ooh, one of them is a lobster man and the other one is a lobster man as well. That is not good. So what we need to do is get away as far as possible and hide. There are uh, lots of uh, small compartments on this part of the map and um, I believe the best way would be to use this elevator over here and uh, go down one level and hide. So which one is the closest? One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Hmm. Let's take this one. Okay, 46 time units left. Let's go down. We can still see an alien. Oh, there's another one right there. Hmm. Turn around. No hiding place here. Turn around. And turn around. Ooh, and there is a... There is a horrible monster right there. Okay. This is not very cool. Where can we go? We can go back and hide over there. These guys should not be able to see us. Or we can go hmm, inside. No, that's a stupid idea. We can go here. That is probably also a quite stupid idea. We could go there. 33 time units, okay. So like 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. We will probably not have enough to go there. Okay. What I will do is go up again, away from the tentaculate. And I will try to hide either there or here. Hmm. There should be no aliens there. So let's hide here. Face this way. And uh, 
we have hit the 20 minute mark again. So, when we come back, RPE will have to survive in this base full of lobster men and tentaculates, as it seems, and find the Synomium device and destroy it. But uh, that's a story for another episode. For now, I say bye-bye and till next time.